Does going to the gym scare you? Or do you feel as though you want to lose weight, but you just don't want to go to the gym? You don't have time to go to the gym? Um, and maybe because of COVID, you'd rather stay home and just kind of stay away. You know, there's so many different things that could be pushing you in different directions, and I get it. So whatever the case may be, what if I told you that it doesn't matter whether you go to the gym, you just need to simply find ways to be active, even at home, and you can still lose weight and you can still reach your fitness goals. So no gym, no problem. So exercising looks different for every single person. Everyone cannot exercise the same way, which is why comparing yourself to how and what other people are doing is a recipe for disaster. So you may even experience a lot of aches and pains. You may have had surgeries in the past. You may have experienced, you know, bad accidents that left you in pains in your back or your neck. Um, you know, maybe your ankles and your feet hurt. And sometimes we have certain challenges that make it difficult to do these hardcore workouts. And sometimes this is what's stopping a lot of people from starting to make healthier choices because they're in so much physical pain. So the good news is even if your workout is not hardcore enough, and even if it doesn't involve, you know, jumping and lifting a lot of weight and crazy boot camp classes, you know, the exercise that will give you the best result will be the exercise that you can do depending on where you're at. So the number one thing that you want to focus on is going to be you individually because sometimes you may get caught up at just looking at everyone else and you might just be looking at the typical, what people are mostly doing. Um, they're running, they're lifting a lot of weights, they're doing classes, right? And everyone always starts in a different spot. You may see someone walking three miles per day and think to yourself, wow, like I can't even walk around three blocks without being out of breath or without my feet hurting or without my back hurting. You know, I'm never going to be able to lose this weight because I can't do that. And I'm here to tell you that's not the case because you have to focus on your own journey. Everyone's journey looks completely different. And you have to just focus on your own path because you have your own destination. And if you focus on just improving yourself from where you're at, you will make progress little by little. Everyone's progress is better. You just have to be 1% better than you were yesterday. So you want to make sure you're following a program that has your current situation at the forefront. So if you're limited with certain exercise, then how can you maximize your results without doing exercises that are going to cause your body to be in all this pain and put your body in more stress? So the reason, <clears throat> sorry, the reason why 96% of uh, people fall short of reaching their goals is not because they can't do it, but because they don't have a plan that matches what they need for where they are. So you have to meet yourself exactly where you are. So if you're doing exercises that are making you feel tired, you're lethargic, it's causing you more aches and pains, then of course it's going to be a lot easier to give up and quit. So that's why it's important to find something that's effective for your body, also enjoyable enough so that you can do it long term because then now you have lifelong sustainable results. Everything's all about longevity, not the short term. So you have to find something that you can do for where you're at that's going to last you forever. So I wanted to also share a story. This week is sharing stories. Um, a client of mine, Tammy, came to me last year wanting to lose weight. She was expecting a grandbaby. She wanted to make sure she could run around and look after her grandson once he arrived. One of her biggest concerns was, you know, Danae, I have back pain, I have knee pain. After several car accidents, you know, I just can't do the things I once was able to do. And, you know, she also didn't want to go to the gym. So she didn't want to stop, you know, her journey of losing weight just because she was struggling with aches and pain. She wanted to find a solution that could help her specifically. You know, how can she lose weight without stepping foot into a gym, which is what she did. So I wanted to share our video call together so you can learn a little bit more about Tammy's story, how she was able to lose weight all while never having to step into a gym, and even learning about her aches and her pains, she was able to still incorporate things that kept her out of pain rather than in pain. So click the link below to hear, and tomorrow I'm actually going to be jumping on here sharing why cookie cutter plans don't work. 
because there's a lot of cookie cutter plans out there, but they typically don't give you the result that you want. So join me tomorrow. Hope you guys are having a fantastic week and I'll see you then.